Not long ago, I was on a quest to acquire a new set of wheels. Little did I know, I was about to give conventional wheels the boot. We're hauling now. Let me explain. To fulfill my idea of a land-based paddle boat mega base that crawls around and eats everything in its path, I was looking for some bigger wheels. A picture on Discord got me running in the right direction. However, for my needs, I would need something a few sizes larger. <laughs> oh, buddy! A solid prototype. To make my wheel, I ended up using three sets of four spokes. I added a controller to offset each set by 30 degrees from each other. Doing this, I was able to turn a 12 peg leg into a rather convincing wheel, but how would it roll? To get boots on the ground quickly, I made a simple trike to verify the idea. Let's give it a go. We need more foot pounds of torque, don't we? It's at the limit, no. It's all right, we got room for more power. There we go, it just takes two engines. <laughs> Just taking my trike out for a walk. Oh no. <laughs> How fast is this going feet per second? You guys count it up. <laughs> Taking a step back from my first prototype, I needed to smooth out the ride and acquire a better power source if I was to be successful. Suspended soles. Using suspension in the wheel seemed like an obvious choice for smoothing out the ride. However, using 12 suspension parts per wheel is definitely not a cheap solution. So this would need to work really well if I was to proceed and make two wheels. So needing to verify the idea, I put this new wheel to a test and immediately the improvements were obvious. The wheel now felt far smoother and could absorb bumps. Not only that, but an unexpected side effect is that it seemed to have significantly increased the amount of traction I was able to get out of the wheel. On part because the wheel was actually in contact with the ground, but looking closely, you can see about three boots are on the ground at any point in time. And in this game, boots have a higher grip than standard wheels. So not only did we improve the amount of contact points, but we also improved the material that's in contact with the ground. So right off the bat, we can see that these boot wheels really grip. With that positive result, it was time to build my first prototype vehicle. My first prototype would be a very simple setup here, just designed to verify if the wheels would work and the control system was right and that whatever power system I used had enough oomph to get the job done. Based on recommendations from the Twitch chat, I ended up using a rather powerful controller motor option that works with rotating bearings. So stacking several of these on top of each other all the way up to eight, you can have yourself an extremely powerful free energy motor. I ended up building two of these, one for each wheel. My plan was always to have some sort of tank steer where I could activate or deactivate one side or the other in order to get the entire thing to pivot. I figured it was going to be very heavy and possibly very long. So the ability to pivot at the center point of my vehicle was going to be extremely important. Maximum speed. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We're gonna be sent to the moon. Do I dare deconstruct this? Do it. Do it. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The only question now is would it work? Oh, <laughs> jeez. This is on slow speed. Holy moly. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whee. <laughs> this thing without wheelie bars is not going to work. Oh, yeah. Now we're moving. Yes! <laughs> all right, all right. Enough messing around. It's time for the maximum speed. To the limit! Oh, man! 
<laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, there we go. We're now aiming the right way. Speed! Into a tree. Proof of concept is done. This thing definitely moves. Moves fast. Moves a lot of weight. Actually, you know what? Let's let's check out weight real quick. Let's see if it has a limited amount of power. <laughs> it doesn't care at all. <sighs> well, hang on. Let's add the assembly line to it real quick. See if we can carry that too. All right, there we go. I've loaded it up with about as much heavy stuff as I have. Now let's see how powerful it is. <laughs> Seems effective. Yes. So this thing is easily capable of moving an entire base worth of stuff. The real question is how fast can it move it? All right, maximum speed craft bot. Are you ready? We're hauling now. <laughs> it won't stop. <laughs> The results from the first full-scale prototype were quite impressive. Controls seemed to be the most important factor to improve. With a new understanding of the limits of physics, I set out to shrink the design down to something slightly more practical. At a later date, I would add a reverse gear to the system for an extra layer of control. Now, with the second prototype done, it was time to put it to the ultimate test to see just how much brute force it really has. Oh God. Well, for an unlimited power grocery runner, this thing will definitely do it. Okay, so now when I, I, I give it the left and right rudder, at this point we're going to call them rudders, <laughs> it does actually turn a little bit. So I have some fine control. All right, let's take this for a drive and see what happens here. Let's hit some bumps real quick. Oh yeah, that's some cushy suspension right there let's hope we can go up this hill I'm being trailed by a few bots oh yes unlimited traction <laughs> all right what happens if I try to stop it on this steep hill I let off <laughs> <laughs> Those are some good breaks. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> you know, the last thing I need is a couple more buildings by my base. When does that ever stop me? Oh, the game. Oh, that's gonna go over well. <laughs> oh no. Well. Hmm. Perfectly fine. Everything's good here. We'll just do that number. Pop a little trailer wheel on there. All right. Moving out. Oh, no. <laughs> Turn. Surprising. We're still good. Oh, that's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 
<laughs> All right, now let's see what happens when we do this. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh! Those wheels look real healthy, don't they? <laughs> no. No, no. This is a dramatic chase scene. <laughs> Stay away from me, bot! <laughs> well, we've reached our destination, and I don't think I'm gonna lose my tail. So we're gonna have to fight. So in the end, I feel like this was an absolute success. It's capable of moving a ton of stuff very quickly and is quite maneuverable once I added the whole reverse system to it. And it actually moves rather quick. However, there are a couple downsides. Every now and then, it'll eat about half your frame rate. And if you plan to do multiplayer, anybody that gets within 150 meters of this thing will pretty much disconnect automatically. So I'm gonna hand that to the devs and see if it ever gets worked out. But for right now, I have to hide this vehicle before I go and play multiplayer. But nevertheless, it's definitely cool. So if you hear the sound of two dozen boots stomping your way, accompanied by a sharp drop in frame rate, fear not of a stampede, for I'm just rolling your way. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Scrap Mechanics. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Now before we leave, let's <laughs> take a look at our community post here to see who came up with the funniest caption of them all. How long until we get there? Hmm, about 400 feet. So, 133 yards? No. Paddle boats don't need to be limited to water travel. Stepping up the locomotion. These boots were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. I'm looking at you, Haybot. Gotta hit the ground running. Uh, paving roads will be easy, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They were wrong. And here we see the culmination of the Roadrunner's evolution. Notice the telltale circles of the feats as it runs, and its brilliant disregard for rules of the road. Wiley should have stopped while he was behind. Ooh, sir! Wiley Coyote should get his money back. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode here of Scrap Mechanic. If you got some other ideas for me, leave them down there in the comment section below. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar!